Hey guys, it's Amy, your independent Scentsy consultant with Happily Scented Homes. And I'm back today because my Father's Day collection early access came in. So I'm super excited to do first sniffs with you guys. Um, if you're not aware or new to my channel, Scentsy does early access for consultants, especially if there is a signature fragrance that's going to be available in the limited time collection. Um, we will get access to the fragrances themselves. Um, so that way we can try them out and do samples and all that fun stuff um, before the collection actually drops. So we do have a Father's Day collection coming up on May 6th. Um, the Mother's Day collection is already out, already um, on the website to purchase, um, but the Father's Day collection won't be coming out until May 6th. And there are three new fragrances to the Father's Day collection. I was kind of hoping that they would bring back like one, like past Father's Day fragrance and then give us like two new ones because they were doing that with past limited time collections. They were like giving us one new one and one retired and things like that. So I was hoping that trend would continue, but it doesn't look like it. So the three new fragrances that we have are Day on the Field, Open Air Exploring, and Black Tie Affair. So these three fragrances will be available in a bundle for $17 or you can buy them individually for $6. You can also get them in a three pack um, circle bundle. So you can get these fragrances in a scent circle. Um, they will be a three pack for $8. Uh, it does not look like you can buy them separately though. And then there will be th uh, one, two, three. There's gonna be three warmer bundles. So they actually picked three existing warmers and they're giving you one bar for free. So we have the classic satin black warmer, and I'll put a picture up here, where you'll be getting the black tie affair bar for free, and that's going to be 35 And then we have the mod taupe element warmer. That's going to be $25, and then you'll get a free bar of day on the field. And then they have the polar panorama warmer for $70 and they're going to throw in a free bar of the open air exploring. They also are going to have the open air exploring fragrance available in a scent pack because we are going to have a new Scentsy Bunny. It's called Jeb the Jackalope. I'll put a picture here. I don't understand what jackalopes have to do with Father's Day. I mean he's stinking cute and he looks like he's going to be like one of those fluffy you know Scentsy Bunnies. My son thinks it's a deer, so, but that's the collection. So it's a very small collection, a lot of returning products, no new warmers, there's a new buddy, and three new fragrances. I was kind of hoping for body care, but we win, we win some, we lose them. So we're going to go right ahead and get into the scents here. I'm just going to pull up scent descriptions. Okay, so we're going to start off with the one that I am like the most intrigued by, which is the Black Tie Affair. This one's got vanilla tobacco with a spritz of vetiver and white grapefruit. It's very light, you guys. But it's like a pretty scent. It's like a pretty man fancy scent. I don't get any grapefruit. So white grapefruit and white grapefruit does scare me off. I don't get any in this bar. I'm basically getting the vanilla, uh, the vanilla, a, a tad smokiness from the tobacco, but lots of vetiver, lots and lots of vetiver. I just don't know if it's like so unique. Now I've heard some consultants compare this to Southern Evening. I can kind of see where they're getting that comparison but by all means are they are not similar fragrances at all like southern evening has more of like white powdery florals and it's got like a deep musk scent and it's got some sweetness from like berries and stuff like that 
This one's got sweetness and creaminess from the vanilla, but then there's that, that, that tobacco scent in here. That's coming more off of like tobacco wood, like smoky tobacco wood. The vetiver is like this note that's like very prominent in here. It's not bad. It's not a bad scent. It's just very light. I thought it would be a lot stronger. And maybe with it having vanilla in here as like a basic like base note, maybe that means it will age stronger. But we gotta warm it first to find out. So all right, we'll do open air exploring. This one is jasmine blossoms, aquatic greens, and a splash of salt water. Oh. This just reminds me of men's like body wash. This smells like zest. This smells like zest soap. Oh yeah, that's strong. Whew. Yeah, I'm getting jasmine. I'm definitely getting jasmine. Aquatic greens. I mean, I get an aquatic note. I'm definitely getting sea salt air. That's for sure. So sea salt air and the jasmine blossoms are the more prominent scent notes. But it's so like soapy body wash, like classic men's body wash soap. It's not bad. Again, it's not a bad scent. Um, glacier water would probably be the closest, like, scentsy fragrance that I could compare it to. Not that it's, like, anything similar to that. But if you did like um, glacier water, then you probably will like this open air exploring bar. It also kind of, the aquatic greens in here kind of reminds me of the oak moss that's in Harbor's Edge a little bit but not much. This is definitely a lot stronger than the black tie affair. That's for sure on cold. So, but this is like really, really strong masculine body wash soap. It smells like zest soap is what that, what that smells like. I'm not mad at it. It's just that they've done this before. So it's not so, excuse me, unique that it's like, oh my God, I have to, I have to have it. And then last but not least, we have Day on the Fields. This one is bergamot with fresh notes of amber and sandalwood. So, oh, I like this one. This one is definitely a more subtle, gentler version of my beloved Jade and Jasmine. Yeah, it's a very diluted, subtle, gentle version of Jade and Jasmine. It's got that hint of Jade and Jasmine. I get the amber. I get the sandalwood. I get the bergamot. And the bergamot's actually reading a touch more citrus cologne. I really like it. It's the same bergamot that's like in White Amber Antique. You know how White Amber Antique is like the Hollister Amber Crombie bar. Day in the field is the Pack Sun guy. <laughs> if you remember that store in the mall, Pack Sun. Oh, I like this one a lot, you guys. Mm hmm. This, yeah, it's getting stronger as I smell it. Oh, the more I smell it, the more I like it. This definitely will go in my club only because I don't have Jade and Jasmine. I don't have it clubbed and I don't have any more bars. I just have a room spray that I've just been using very, very sparingly. Um, is If this warms good enough where I consider it a club, I'll definitely club this one. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, so Day on the Field was definitely my favorite on cold. And then we've got Open Air Exploring, which is my second favorite. And then Black Tie Affair would go at the bottom. Um, only because even though the scent profile is extremely different and it's very 
different from what Sensi usually puts out, which totally makes it a unique bar. It's just very light. I'm hoping that it does pick up speed and gives me some good performance on warm. But I can definitely see where people are saying that it could be a sibling of Southern Evening. And I think that's because of the uniqueness of the like fragrances on how they're um, blending. But Southern Evening is way better, way better. And then this one's really nice. Like I said, open air exploring. You definitely get the aquatic greens and the jasmine blossoms. But it's just like soapy body wash that I don't think I need it in my life. But I feel like this will, this is, this is reading the strongest out of the three. But this one has stolen my heart. Like, oh, this is like a subtle version mm, of Jade and Jasmine. Oh, I miss me some Jade and Jasmine. So this is the Father's Day collection. I will go ahead and warm these and then I will pop on and do a warm review and share with you guys um, what my experience was with them. Um, like I said, these fragrances and the rest of the Father's Day collection will not be available until May 6th. If you are thinking about placing an order and don't have a consultant, I would love to be that for you. And you could certainly visit my website, wicklesscandles.sensi.us to place an order. I will have a shopping link open um, for the Father's Day collection in case anybody does want to purchase anything. And as always, thanks for liking commenting and subscribing and in the comment section on this video if you've gotten the early access to this or samples from your consultant what has been your opinion which one of the three are you the most intrigued by or which one of the three have you liked the most since getting them yourself love to know your thoughts and talk to you in my next video bye